overall in this game, just what are your main takeaways from a game like this where it's swung in so many different directions, being down by 23, but being able to cut it into single digits in that fourth quarter? Yeah, I think you have to look at, especially when you play these guys tomorrow, uh, what are the things that uh, got us in a position to defend and give up only 46 points in the second half? Uh, so the rebounding piece, the fouling piece, uh, that's staring us in the face. Uh, the momentum of the game, of them shooting free throws and uh, being in the bonus too early. Uh, so we got to be able to contain them and keep the ball in front of us uh, and rebound the basketball. Was there anything that they did, especially in that second quarter, where kind of things started to slow down offensively for you guys? I think that was a part of the uh, free throw strategy a little bit. That broke the rhythm of the game. Uh, and then at the same time, that allowed them to get in the bonus. So we, were, we weren't trading baskets equally at that moment. And so uh, that gave them the uh, upper hand for sure. Just first, uh, is there any thought about Ben playing on the second night of a back-to-back -back tomorrow, or are we not there yet? Lucas, he is not playing in back-to-back, -back, so he will not play tomorrow. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to ask was the lineup in the first quarter with the three guards and Dorian at the five, was that pre-planned, or was it a reaction to Boston kind of throwing out that matchup zone that they did? No, it's something we had definitely talked about uh, as far as changing up the combination, and that's just going to be... A little experimental. Uh, this is the first time uh, Dennis has played with Ben. Schroeder has played with Ben also, so it gave us the opportunity to see that, which was uh, um, gave us some good dividends. Uh, but the ability for Doe, we missed that versatility for, he to, for him to play Cornette or play against Tatum. All those things are, are valuable to us. So um, from while we were playing a little bit of chess mats, he was subbing, I was subbing, and trying to get an advantage. Jock, in that second, mainly that fourth quarter, it seemed like uh, Mikel and Cam, I think, kind of led that, that run for you guys to get back into it. But just defensively, did you guys change anything, or did you keep it going from the third quarter as you guys were limiting their scoring opportunities? No, we did mix things up a little bit, uh, got more aggressive uh, in every facet of the game, whether it was uh, in the post, uh, pick-and-roll defense also. Uh, so, you know, at times like that, you just have to scramble a little bit and cause some confusion. Hopefully, you get rewarded for it. Jock, Cam uh, Thomas had a, you know, a little bit of a rough start. Obviously, was getting hunted a little bit defensively and slow offensively. But, you know, in the second half, 19 points. I think he was 8 of 15 from the field. Looked like the defense as a unit was just better as the game progressed. What did you see from him to be able to, you know, have a bounce back half like that against the NBA's best team? Yeah, that's a great response by uh, Cam Thomas to be able to uh, not have the game turn out the way you want it to in the first half and then be able to stay within yourself and uh, within the team concepts and get rewarded for uh, continuing to fight and having his teammates really pull for him to, to have a better half. So uh, a lot goes to his credit because that's, that's more than a physical battle. That's a mental battle at that time against a really good team. John, was there anything you could have done better against Tatum tonight or he was just having one of those nights? You know, it's interesting. You know, he got uh, a couple threes. You know, there was that little three threes that he got one was a foul two off of uh pick and roll with dayron in there a little bit so uh be interesting to watch it again uh these high level guys once they get going we started to trap him a little bit uh but they got so much shooting out there uh, it'll be interesting to watch it again and see what adjustments we can make shock you mentioned during pregame that's kind of like a rubik's cube now that dayron sharp is back what did you just see and make from having your three bigs out there on the court and kind of just moving forward of what you look look forward to ahead? Yeah, we need them all. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to, to the many restrictions being, you know, lifted, just, uh, you know, being able to play Doe tonight and, and uh, his defensive presence to be able to guard Jalen Brown one-on-one -on -one a lot of times was really good for us. Um, then you see tonight, you know, Lonnie got a little bit more looks offensively for us, which we've needed, uh, but then we finished the game with Jalen Wilson, so how about that? And uh, that'll continue to be our team, which is a good thing for us, to continue to push each other to bring out the best in all of us.